the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We take a moment in silence, acknowledging our sinfulness, so that as we confess them before the Lord, we are sanctified by the Lord to offer this sacrifice worthily. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with the devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son 
is our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory the body is called to follow in hope we make this prayer through Christ our Lord Amen Amen First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days, he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or date that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing there looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, the same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of God. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God. God. Your response. God goes up with shouts of joy. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord comes up, goes up with trumpet blast. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. All people clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God goes up with shouts of joy. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God goes up with shouts of joy. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one spirit, just as you were all called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, over all, through all, and within all. Each one of us, however, has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. It was said, that he would, when he ascended to the height, he captured prisoners, he gave gifts to men. When it says he ascended, what can it mean if not that he descended right down to the lower regions of the earth? 
the one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things is none other than the one who descended. And to some his gift was that they should be apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and preachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise for the acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Go make disciples of all the nations. I am with you always. Yes, to the end of time. Alleluia. Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verses 15 onwards. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with the believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed. Should they drink deadly poison, they will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There, at the right hands and hand of God, he took his place, while they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Christ. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and, and earth, earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, saints the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins the, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We now offer to the Lord all our prayers, all our intentions, and we pray for the entire world. Heavenly Father, as we have listened to the message, we ask you to give us your grace so that we can lift this message in our day-to-day -day life and get blessed. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we pray for the church. We pray for all the leaders and every member of the church. We ask you to keep us in your grace and keep us united in love. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the entire world. We pray that all of us enjoy the lasting peace that you have promised. Keep us in that peace and give that peace to every family here on earth. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who are sick and suffering, all those who go through different struggles in their life. We ask you to comfort them and settle all their problems. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we also pray for Caddis Phone Retreat Center, all the programs we are conducting here and also outside. We ask you to accept them and grant us your grace so that everything will take place well. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for the success of the retreat we start today, the Inner Healing Retreat, all those who are going to participate in it. We also pray for all the upcoming programs in Caddis Hoven. The coming Sunday, we start the retreat for the youth. And the following Sunday, the last Sunday of this month, we start the Marian retreat. Let us pray for the success of all these retreat programs. We also offer to the Lord our own personal intentions. Lord, accept these our prayers and continue to bless us with your grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. sisters and brothers, that the sacrifice of mine and yours will be acceptable to God our Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ 
our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. through the most important part of the celebration, let us pour out our hearts in prayer, praying for the entire world. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.